For more on the job outlook, we turn now to Gary Bernison, CEO of Corn Ferry. This is the world's largest executive recruiting firm. He's also author of the 12 Absolutes of Leadership. Hi, Gary. Hey, Susie. So you heard uh, Suzanne's report saying that the unemployment rate has dropped now five straight months in a row. From your perspective, is the job market improving? Well, it's, it's improving, but I would say it's kind of a comparison, you know, of an F-16 versus a heavy cargo aircraft. I mean, the, the plane's off the ground, but it's certainly not the way it was in the 80s or 90s or mid-2000s. I mean, we're lacking the jet fuel, which is really this consumer spending, but directionally, yes, it's getting better. So tomorrow, if uh, the employment report that's issued in the early morning from the Labor Department comes out with a really strong number showing American businesses are hiring, would you feel like the, we're on the right momentum towards uh, an improvement in the job market? Well, we're headed the right way, but I've said for some time this is a Nike swoosh. And I was listening to Treasury Secretary Geithner talking about, you know, foreign shocks in Greece. I mean, corporate, I spend a lot of time with corporate CEOs. They're not investing because of Greece. That, that's not the reason. The reason is because there's no growth in the top line. Uh, CEOs are, are trying to drive innovation, but the consumer is just not there. In terms of foreign shocks, I think what people are discounting and the impact on Americans is China. I mean, China's economy, I spent two months there living there. China's economy has cooled substantially by design because inflation was so high. But that could have a big impact on, believe it or not, American jobs. So tell me, you talk to a lot of CEOs, and what are they telling you, whether it's of the China effect or what's going on in the U.S.? What are their hiring plans? Well, they're, they're right now, I mean, they're struggling. There's a fight for growth and relevancy. They're trying to drive the top line. Corporations are sitting on a lot of cash, and, and that's really good news. But, you know, people are, you know, they're, they're more for less. I mean, they're expecting more out of the workers today than they've ever, ever had. But at some point, that will run its limit, and there will have to be hiring, but the hiring is going to be much different than okay. it was 10 years ago. We have less than a minute. Uh, from your experience, what trends are you seeing in the, where there are pockets of hiring? What are the sectors that are hiring, and, and where are the weak areas? Real quickly yeah, here. Well, I'll tell you what's, what's very hot right now is convergence. You know, companies trying to sell their products through social media, digital, anything like that is very hot. If you've got any of those skills, uh, employers are hiring. That, that's for sure. Life sciences and healthcare another very very good area on the other side of the barbell it's financial services a great deal of uncertainty uh, with the regulatory you know Volcker rule and all of that that's that's not a good place but life sciences technology digital media very healthy today all right a lot of good information Gary thank you so much for coming on the program thank you and we've been speaking with Gary Bernison CEO of Corn Ferry International